morning to all of you. I'll be speaking on the super specialities and diagnostics uh, in ophthalmology. So we as ophthalmologists take care of the eyes and cure them of diseases, thus preserving the vision, which is the most important sense organ of all. Eyes may be acquiring a very small portion in the human body, but ophthalmology as a major branch uh, is a vast subject and uh, it encompasses many uh, subdivisions or the super specialities as we call them. So what are these super specialities in ophthalmology? Uh, it's cornea and external eye disease, refractive surgery, cataract, glaucoma, vitreoretina and uvea, ocular plastics and ocular oncology, squint and pediatric ophthalmology, neuroophthalmology and ocular pathology. So a brief overview of all these super specialities. Uh, first, cornea and the external eye disease. The cornea specialist deals with the diseases of cornea, like the uh, trauma, laceration or tear of the cornea, keratitis or the corneal infections, ulcers, ectasias or thinning of cornea, keratoconus, dis uh, dystrophies of cornea, etc. They also perform all the surgical procedures in cornea, like the repair of uh, corneal tears, keratoplasties, DSEC procedure, keratoprosthesis, the collagen cross-linking or the C3R procedure, and pterygium excision, and uh, uh, amniotic membrane grafting, etc. Uh, these super specialists also deal with the diseases of sclera and conjunctiva. Next in line is refractive surgery. A refractive surgeon is one who uh, deals with the patients who want to get rid of glasses. So they treat patients with different kinds of refractive errors like uh, myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism, and presbyopia. So next is cataract. We all know cataract is a disease of the lens where the transparent crystalline lens becomes uh, opaque with time. A cataract surgeon will then operate upon this diseased lens and replace it with a new lens called the intraocular lens implantation. The surgical procedures advised here are either of uh, laser based cataract surgery or the flax surgery, we commonly call uh, it as, then a routine FACO or the microincision cataract surgery, MICS, and a small incision cataract surgery. Uh, we are not doing uh, the uh, ECC or the extracapsular cataract surgeries uh, which were being done earlier because, uh, because of the latest technology now. And we can give uh, better vision to the patients. Then coming to glaucoma, glaucoma is a th uh, silent thief of vision. And uh, if not treated in time and diagnosed in time, this leads to irreversible blindness. And uh, the glaucoma specialist focuses on treating the glaucoma uh, patients with, and also with disorders that increase the intraocular pressure and damage the optic nerve, thus causing blindness. So the specialist of glaucoma can treat the patients with, um, either medically, surgically, or with laser treatment. Next super speciality is vitreoretina and uvea. This branch takes, case of the, uh, takes care of the patients who have disease of the posterior segment, and the posterior segment comprises of retina, vitreous, and uvea. So the patients are treated medically, surgically, or with laser therapy, cryotherapy, and sometimes with intravitreal injections and implants also. ARMD or the uh, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, retinal detachment, uveitis, macular edema, central serous retinopathy, etc. These are few common retinal disorders. Next is oculoplastics and oncology. The oculoplastic surgeon treats the diseases of the lids, orbits, and adenexa, uh, as well as they perform the cosmetic and reconstructive surgeries. They are also ocular oncologists and deal with the tumors of the eyes, orbits, and lids. Some common procedures which are done by oculoplastic surgeons are DCR or the uh, dacrocystorhinostomy, a DCT or dacrocystectomy, syringing and probing procedure, punctoplasty, blepharoplasty, evisceration and orbital implant, also orbital decompression and reconstructive surgeries. Next is pediatric ophthalmology and squint. Uh, this super speciality deals with the eye diseases in children and uh, this includes strabismus or the squinting of eyes, this misalignment of the eyes, amblyopia or the lazy eye syndrome, the genetic abnormalities in children, and weakness of eye muscles. Uh, they also conduct surgeries for pediatric cataracts and squint. The next super speciality is neuroophthalmology. A neuroophthalmologist is concerned with the diseases of optic nerve and vision loss associated with neurological disorders. Lastly, ocular pathology. Basically, they are trained of, uh, pathologists who specialize in the pathology of eyes and ocular adenexa. Now, uh, coming to the diagnostic tests, uh, multiple diagnostic tests are being advised by ophthalmologists, but some major ones are specular microscopy, 
the pentacam or corneal topography, pachymetry, uh, ocular surface analysis and mebography, IOL master or biometry test, the visual field test, electrodiagnostic test, the ERG, EOG, and VEP, OCT, fundus photo, and uh, fundus fluorescein angiography or FFA, B scan ultrasound. Uh, the specular microscopy is a non-invasive photographic technique where uh, we analyze the health of the corneal endothelium. The corneal endothelium is vital for the transparency of the cornea and also for a clear vision. So this is advised by a cornea specialist or sometimes by a cataract surgeons when uh, we are doing some surgeries and also before a secondary eye implantation and in hard down cataracts where there's a risk of damage to the endothelium of the cornea. Next is Pentacam. This test is used for mapping of the corneal shape and curvature. And it is a must before the refractive surgery, but also used for evaluating uh, keratoconus and other corneal disorders. Next is pachymetry. Uh, here the thickness of cornea is measured by a probe by contact method. And uh, it is required for laser vision correction and is also a useful aid in the diagnosis of glaucoma. Uh, you all must have seen uh, glaucoma specialist advising CCT test. The CCT or the central corneal thickness is nothing but pachymetry. And we need it for, because the IOP readings, they depend on the thickness of cornea, okay? Then ocular surface analyzer or the OSA, this is a relatively new diagnostic test. And this tells us about the overall health of the uh, ocular surface. And uh, we use it for assessment of the, uh, and grading of the uh, dry eyes and mebumin gland disorders. Next is IOL master or the biometry test. This is also advised by the cataract surgeons. Here we assess the power of the intraocular lens that is to be implanted in the eye after the cataract surgery. Visual field test of the perimetry. Uh, this is the most important test used for by a glaucoma uh, specialist. And uh, here we test the field of vision of the uh, patient. And it is also used to assess the progression of glaucoma. And uh, this test is also required for the assessment of many times neurological disorders like uh, uh, tumors of the brain and also for macular pathologies. Then the electrodiagnostic test, these are the ERG, electroretinography, electrooculography, and the visually evoked potential. These tests provide additional information about the function of the retina and optic nerve pathways to the brain. OCT or the optical coherence tomography, this is a procedure that evaluates the uh, interference patterns of light uh, reflected from the interior of the eye. And uh, it gives us a, uh, a clear view of the layers of different layers of retina and uh, helps in diagnosis of uh, retinal conditions as well as in glaucoma also. We uh, measure the retinal uh, nerve fiber layer thickness and check for the progression or deterioration of the condition. An anterior segment OCT is also used for diagnosing any retinal uh, anterior segment pathology associated with cornea or the anterior chamber angle. Next is fundus photography. Here a fundus camera is used to take pictures of the um, retina and optic nerve. Fundus fluorescein angiography or the FFA test, it's a photographic procedure where we inject uh, the fluorescein dye intravenously and uh, uh, take serial photographs of the retina with the help of fundus camera. And this test tells us about the pathologies in the retina, leakages of fluid, uh, hemorrhages, and detachments. Lastly, the B-scan ultrasound. This is a non-invasive technique. It is used to assess the structural integrity of the eye and ocular pathology. And this test is especially useful when we have dense media opacities like uh, uh, dense uh, corneal opacity in mature cataracts, in vitreous hemorrhage, where we cannot see the posterior segment of the eye. So this was about a, a brief overview of all the super specialities and the diagnostic procedures used by ophthalmologists. Uh, thank you. Thank you.